One new thing that Adobe had installed is missing fonts. This has always been a problem in the past in reference to finding different faults, fonts that, you know, are missing from your machine and you can, you know, it's been one of those really big headaches and I'm so glad they resolved it. Right here you can see it says don't resolve and it's going to find the closest font which is Madrid Pro. Um, when I say resolve font, you see the font comes in and it's not what I used before on my other machine when I designed this you know, little image right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that right there and once again I want to show you the PSD of what it looks like right here. You see the font is a lot different than the Madrid Pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn on my Creative Cloud because I did use a type kit font which is owned by Adobe and which is really awesome and works really really well so while we're getting that thing to load up there what we're going to do here is we're just going to kind of wait here and we have Adobe loading up here and you can see where Adobe is doing this thing it's coming in right here and when I open this font right here you're going to notice that we're not going to get that dialog box again for the simple fact that Madrid Pro is you know like I said the secondary font that it will look for however you know we just definitely want the font that we were actually using in reference to uh, the design the first time on the MacBook Pro I am now on the iMac and you can see my subscription there is you know validating and all that good stuff right there and everything is good so let me go ahead and close this down open up this image right here once again with Creative Cloud running and you notice that my font came in and everything is working pretty smooth there and everything is pretty great. Um, I am able to tap my T key, go inside here and I'm able to see Brie Bold is the font that I was actually using here and everything's working well. So I'm going to close this image one more time. Let me commit that change there. I'm going to close this image one more time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kick off my Creative Cloud. When I quit the Creative Cloud and I open this image up one more time here, you can see here that the font is missing and it's asking me do I want to resolve the issue there. Let's say don't resolve and I open that up. You see the Brie Bold is there and it's in parentheses now stating that the font is pretty much missing. You see we have the little um, triangles here stating that the font is missing so when I go over here and I touch inside here it says Brie Bold font is missing. Now this is what we dealt with in the past you would have to go out you would have to find Brie Bold and you would have to install this your machine in order to use this font. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and you see right there it changed to the Madrid Pro uh, regular you know like it mentioned before. So if you're not using Creative Cloud this is one good reason to use it 